All right, I'm here with another one of these where I just look at the most horrific, most horrible, most dreadful Facebook listings uh, that I can find on Facebook Marketplace. And I got a good selection here, I think. Some funny ones. It might be a little bit of a shorter one, but there's some funny ones in here, I think, when we get to them. And I don't remember all of these because it's been a while since I went through all these. So, it kind of be going fresh. But I'll just jump right in. This is the first one here. I love this one. Old Play Station Games. These are all games from the 90s or early 2000 era. We'll only sell all as a package, i.e. all ga 35 games shown in the picture. This one's just really funny because I love these bootleg games. And the more you look at them, the more funny it gets. Like, you can see Star Wars here is on the game station over here. Um, and that looks like, I don't even know. Like, I mean, obviously these are all printout artworks. These are all... Um, you know, bootleg games, probably, they don't show the discs, I don't think, in the listing, but these are probably all just burned CDs, so we got JoJo's Bizarre Adventure here, Croc 2, Crash Bandicoot 2 with the Crash Bandicoot 1 artwork, that's for the game station, and for some reason, Crash Bandicoot is rated T for teen now, um, Resident Evil Nemesis is rated EO, um, I don't know what that is, I don't know why that would be, I love Crash Bandicoot. It has the same cover as Crash Bandicoot 2. And then you got this, like, um, graphic design is my passion Crash Warped cover, too, which I think is great. This is a good one. I really like this one a lot. This one's funny. Um, just some of these artworks are, are great. Um, I don't know why there's... Oh, this is Jedi Power Battles. That's Phantom Menace. Okay. Yeah, there's some definitely interesting ones here. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 is also for the game station. Um, so very, very cool. Xbox games, Call of Duty, $10. Yeah. Um, so this was the only game in the listing, and it is a burned copy of Modern Warfare 2, which a copy of Modern Warfare 2 I don't think would probably go for $10 complete, let alone loose, let alone just a burned disc. Like, I don't know what this seller was thinking. I don't know if they were, like, thought this was the real disc or thought that they could sell this like it had any value or thought that they could sell it at all because it's not legal to sell this so very bizarre but i just do love i just love the idea of like yeah I, I gotta throw this xbox game up on facebook marketplace it's a burned disc not just like throwing it away game boy box 110 dollars. have a game boy from 1989 has case few games and magnifier asking 110 firm Okay, <laughs> I don't think those are the right games up there. I haven't, sorry, I haven't seen this one in a while. Yeah, those aren't the right games up there. Those are some DS games up there. I, I, I also like the, I don't know, I like the batteries just kind of thrown here. Like, yeah, it comes with these batteries here. Uh, I, don't, I like that one, but it's also just like, I don't know. <sighs> DS games, okay. Yeah, all right. So that's cool. Has few games. Yeah, where do I put these? Where do I put these games? How do I play these games? That'd be like a funny thing, or you meet up with the person, and you're like, oh yeah, could you play these games there for me? Just make sure I, so I know it works, and just do that. But yeah, I'm obviously don't really want to meet up with people on Facebook Marketplace unless I have to. A unlimited, <laughs> the unlimited Wii, <laughs> a unlimited edition Wii two controllers. Is the Wii Mini, I mean, I don't want to be nitpicky, but is the Wii Mini limited edition? I would say it's more so like a, I don't know, just a variant, like a late release variant. But I love unlimited edition Wii, like the unlimited power Wii. I like that one a lot. I think that's funny. Um, but I also just don't get why does the picture have to be upside down? You couldn't have like taken a right side up photo. Like it's not a great photo to begin with, but like it's upside down. Like, come on. <laughs> like, uh I, lo I love the idea. This is the unlimited edition. Unlimited Wii. Ah! <laughs> That's a jump scare right there. <laughs> that is a straight up jump scare on that one. This one I just think is funny. This has nothing to do with games, but this is just horrifying. Like, full costume, head, suit, shoes, glove, $85. I don't get... Where did this come from, putting the dollar sign after the number? Like, where did this come from? Because it's not right. Like, that's that's not right it's not proper i don't know what's up with that but this is just a funny image i love the reflection in the mirror is also equally as ominous but this is just that's a jump scare that's horrifying <laughs> i forgot about this one this one's so good oh god yeezys um this so this is from a while ago this, uh, this screenshot 
this was from when Kanye was having his um, moment, I'll say, at the beginning of the year. Like when he was, you know, going kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, Yeezys. 100%, 100% authentic Yeezys. Definitely worth your time and money. Um, I just find this so funny. Like the idea that this guy, like, I, I imagine he's pooping at work or something. And then he's like checking his phone and he sees Kanye having his, you know, anti-Semitic tirade. And is like, oh God, I, I got to get rid of these things before they're worthless. Oh no, oh no. So like... I, he like just was like, okay, it's quick, I gotta snap a, pa- a picture while I'm taking a dump. And, like it's so, this is so deranged. I can't imagine ever doing this. Like you couldn't. I mean, at least, I mean, we can see you're in a bathroom, but at least like pull your jeans up so we don't see your bare legs. Like at least, if you gotta take picture, maybe take them off and like zoom in on them or something. Like why? What what would compel you to do this other than I think it? I think my thing is real. Where he's like, I gotta get this these things sold as quick as possible before the news gets out even worse. Before these things tank in value, I gotta get rid of these. Like so, he just immediately takes a picture of them. Like doesn't even care about <laughs> his current um, situation. I, I, I this one's really funny. I just don't play the MFK no more. Um, I just don't play the MFK no more. Like. <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, he doesn't, or the person doesn't say what this is. Um, it says Xbox Series X, but this is a Series S. Also, this TV stand is so, I didn't notice this. This TV stand is so gross. Um, I just, man, man. But no, I just, this this one's funny to me. I, I like this one a lot. I it, it's not good for SEO at all. If you bought this, you'd probably get a good deal. One eighty for a Series S. I think they retail for three hundred. So one eighty for a Series S is is a pretty decent deal if you're willing to you know put in the work to clean it up and meet up with this person who might be slightly deranged. But I I love this one. This one's just so funny to me because it's just like, yeah, I'm not telling you what this is. I just I, I don't play this anymore. I gotta get. I I don't want this. I I like this one. This one's funny. OG Nintendo. Who remembers playing this classic game? Tetris for $35. Um, so yeah, this is just uh, Tetris and an NES controller on this um, bundle here for $35. Not a great deal, uh, but it is something you could purchase with money. Um, but what I find about this one is funny too, is that this is actually the you know, the NES classic NES controller, as you can see by the input, it's not an actual NES controller, which is funny because this NES controller looks so gross and nasty that you could just completely think like, oh yeah, that's just gross and nasty because it's an NES controller that's been in a box since 1989. But no, it's just gross and nasty because the house it's in is gross and nasty. Um, But I just love, who remembers playing this classic game? Like that's your description. Like not like, yeah, you know, label has some wear, it's some good, you know, works, it's tested and works, you know, no, just who remembers this classic game? I think this is next, oh no, there's still some more, Gamer Core, this was an ad I got, I just thought this was funny, because it's like, Gamer Core, G, like the picture's just G, Gamer Core, like a sponsored ad I get, I'm like, what, but what is Gamer Core, I don't, I don't know, I just, G, Gamer Core. Yeah, this is the last one. I like this one. This one, <laughs> PS3 with controllers, charging dock, and many games. Um, PS, I don't need to read it, but it's just funny. Is this like Snoop Dogg's PS3 or something? Like, I, I love. What does it say? Have a toke, and all your worries will go up in smoke. Is what it says here on it. It's kind of hard to read. That's that's awesome. This reminds me of a um, PlayStation One that was at the flea market, like probably almost 10 years ago now and it was out there for like maybe three years every year the same guy would be out there it was like the crustiest looking ps1 and it had all these weed like decals on it and then it just had one that said smoke a bud with your buds and i i I hope beyond hope that just one day i see that ps1 again um but this is a good one too i love the weed uh skin i love the weed skin on the controller it's just so absurd um, not really a good deal, 150 bucks. Not horrible with this stack of games, but it's not a great deal. But I just, I don't know. I just love the tacky and <laughs> the tackiness to the skin and everything. Um, 
you know, I, why didn't Sony just make this an official three, you know, PS3? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they just make this an official PS3? Why did they have to, you know, make us gangweed gamers, you know, <laughs> put the sticker on our PS3? I, I who knows, but. Either way, uh, another interesting session of Facebook Marketplace. Some very odd stuff, some very bizarre stuff on there. But um, I don't know. Facebook Marketplace is a wild, wild place. So I appreciate you watching this one. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment down below if you found anything good or horrifying on Facebook Marketplace lately or what you think of some of these uh, listings. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Objo Gaming. And until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching.